Hello, I'm Shelleys and today I'm going to be doing a book haul. So, I haven't done a book haul for a few months, I think, and I've accumulated some books. So, I don't know when the last time was that I did a book haul. I think it was like, it was like May, April, April or May sometime. And I have accumulated one, two, three, four, five, five, five books. And one of them I didn't buy and one of them I've already read. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I will start with the three books that I got when I went to Kinokuniya with my friends um, a little while ago, like uh, like June, June, I think I went to Kinokuniya, which is a like a big Japanese kind of bookstore I think in Sydney in the city, and yeah, we've been there a few times, and I got three books there. The first book I got is one that me and my two other friends also got when we were there and that is The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton and this is a book that I've seen some people haul but I haven't actually seen a lot of people read and review it and I like I've I read the blurb and it sounds really interesting to me and I read like the first page and I really I was just intrigued it's about a girl who's born with wings and kind of what happens around that and like on the back, even the back really makes me intrigued, it says love makes us such fools and what else is about, um, it kind of sounds like a bit of a um, coming of age story, I'm not too sure, let me know in the comments below if you've read this and let me know what you thought about it because I really want to read this, I'm going to read this soon I think, so yes. Next book I got at Kinokuniya was The Mysterious Benedict Society by Trenton Lee Stewart. This is a children's book. I've been wanting to get into more children's books because I feel like they'll just, they're just like happy kind of books and yeah, I just, this is a series and it's pretty long for a children's book. I think it's like 500 pages. Yeah, it's pretty much, it's about 500 pages and this kind of, I think this has to do with an orphanage, like a really weird orphanage and I don't know too much about it but I want to give it a go. So, yeah, I got the first book, and I'm not sure when I'll read it, but I will read it. I will do it. And the last book I got from Kinokuniya is The Ask and the Answer by Patrick Nares. Uh, Patrick Nares. I feel like I've gotten, like, new subscribers since the last time I talked about Patrick Ness. Like, if you're new here, and you don't know of the Patrick Ness and me, I, yeah, Patrick Ness is my favourite author and I will shove his books down your throats. Like, if you've added me on Goodreads, then you know that you have to answer a question if you want to be my friend. And that friend, that, that question is that you have to vow to read Patrick Ness books. So if you're my friend on Goodreads, you better, you best be reading some Patrick Ness, my friend. But yes, I already own this book, obviously, and I've already read it. It's there. But the thing I'm doing is, see this, signed by the author, so yeah, this is signed, um, there we go, you can, yes, it's signed by Patrick Ness, and also, Monsters of Men is signed in this cover, so my aim is to have these three covers not signed, just so that they're the ones that I can reread and stuff because this is the one that I've read and had for ages. I haven't actually read this one, I've read it on my Kindle. Also I haven't read this one, read it as a library copy. So these, I'm gonna try and find the third book of this, this cover in the signed edition so that I can have like those three adjust, like not for me to actually read but just because they're signed, you know? You feel? You feel? You guys probably think I'm so stupid but I don't even care, you know? It's Patrick Ness. It's worth it. And I have two other books that I did not get from Kinokuniya. The first one my friend gave to me because I moved houses and they had the, my friends threw me a going away party, a farewell party, and one of my friends gave me a book as a present. And that book was The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. And I have been wanting to read this literally since I joined Booktube in April last year. That this was one of the books that everyone was reading and I just really wanted to read it. I don't know why I haven't yet. I just, oh my gosh, I like sci-fi a bit. I really like sci-fi, you guys. And this is a sci-fi book. 
And I've heard mixed things. Like at first I was hearing only good things, but now I've been hearing some more mixed things about like the romance or something, but I don't even care. I really want to read this because it sounds intense and sci-fi and aliens. And if you guys don't know what it's about, it's about an alien invasion and they invade in like five different waves and like on the back it says what the four first four waves are and then you don't know what the fifth wave is. So I just really want to read this. I'm going to read this soon as well because the second book comes out at some point. I don't know when, but yeah, this is going to be a series or a trilogy or something. I don't know. But yes, I'm excited. And the last book is one that I got from the book depository and it came a few days ago and that is... I wrote this for you, just the words, by Please Find This, which is actually what the author is on Goodreads, which is weird, but this is hard for me to explain and I don't want to take forever, but if you guys have seen me talk about I wrote this for you, I read it a little, like a few months ago, and I really loved it. It's poetry, it's a poetry book, and it's kind of like a project thing, an ongoing project, and that one has pictures with each poem, but this one has like no pictures which is why it's called Just the Words and um, I've started it and it has like some poems from the other one as well but it has a lot more poems because it's longer and also it doesn't have pictures so I'm really enjoying it and it's split into like sections on different things and like the dedication in the front says um, it says uh, there are many different ways to read this book you can read it from start to finish you can skip to a part of you can skip to a part of it that resonates with where you are right now. You can leave it next to your bed or in the bottom of a backpack and every now and again pull it out and pick a random page. So like, if, like, you can just pick a section that's like relevant to where you are in your life right now. And it has on love found, on being in love, on love lost, on despair, on hope, on living, on dying. So it has all those sections and I'm just reading it from start to finish because I'm probably gonna, like, I'll do that and then if I feel like reading random bits then I'll pick it up and also I've, I'm doing this in you guys are gonna kill me but on in the contents at the back I'm highlighting like my very favorite ones and yeah so that's that's how I'm doing it because on my other one I have like a whole lot of sticky notes and there's just so many and it, I don't like it because there's too many sticky notes so that's how I'm doing it and like even with the other one, I still look at some of the ones that I sticky noted, so yeah, I'm just going to read it start to finish, and I really love these poetry books, like, I don't know why, I just really do, you know, I'll, like, there'll be a review coming for both of these in my book reviews videos, so look out for them if you want to know more about these. So those are all of the books that I have accumulated in the last few months, don't know how many months, but you know, I've been doing pretty well with not buying too many books, and yeah. I'm going to try and get through more books before buying more books, which is what everyone says on the booktubes. But you know, you got to say it anyway, even if you don't know if you're going to follow the rules. So that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in my next one. Goodbye. <laughs>